First of all, I would like to thank you for your purchase of the Natick Strategy of Champions. I'm Rich Davis, and I hope you are ready to learn some cool things. I'm excited to get started here. Hopefully you are too. This is no get rich uh, program, but if you do the training, you will see that you can make some pretty good money from the comfort of your own home. Natix is a trillion dollar platform that is very legal and secure. And what I love about, about it, it is it's very reliable. You can easily transfer money in and grow your money. And you have your money transferred from the platform to your bank account. And within three business days, you can have your money uh, directly to your bank account. Remember, do your due diligence to pay your taxes on your earnings and, and, and inquire should taxes be taken out when the money is in your platform or do you take taxes out after you have transferred it into your bank account. I uh, Just to tell you a little bit about myself, I had a few restaurants in the past and I still sell a few products that are still being sold in the markets today. You can visit www.delish.com one.com and you can see some of the products and everything that I, 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 am, I am currently selling today. And Natix is, uh, what I like about Natix, it is open about six days a week, starting Sunday 6 p.m. to Friday uh, 4.30 p.m. and Monday through Thursday from 5.30 to 6. And uh, there is uh, a 30-minute shutdown. So that's from 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, Monday through Thursday and you might ask yourself why do I choose Nadex well I own over 50 patents uh, two restaurants I had and uh, one pop-up restaurant kiosk in the mall I auditioned for Shark Tank uh, which it did make it to the first round uh, so that was one of the highlights uh, but why do I love Nadex is because it doesn't matter what shift you work the platform is open you don't have to sell anything opportunities are endless i actually have been using this platform for more than four years and it seems like an easy concept uh choose whether the price will be above or below at the end of five minutes some people right away say this is gambling my definition of gambling is to put money into something and you hope to win but this here is based on strategy and training to put the odds more in your favor of gaining profit than losing. When I opened up my restaurant, it was a risk. And I look at all business endeavors are a gamble and has the risk of losing all that you invested in it. And what I learned from doing business for years is that it's a numbers game. And I'm proud to say now that I have now begun to reap the benefits of my losses. And you don't have to lose like I did. Because I mastered how to get it right 85% of the time. So if someone kept giving you a $100 bill. And after you ask for. And then afterwards ask you for $15 back. And they say I will continue to do this as often as you like. Wouldn't you just keep on doing it? They give you 100 You give them 15 They keep giving you 100 You give them 15 well, this strategy is that I advise you uh, to start off with a minimum of $500 in your actual account. And uh, the reason being for that is uh, you're going to want to be able to use that money to get in and out. And also, I advise don't use your last $500. Uh, look at this as a business investment and you don't put... Uh, if you have to pay on your mortgage, your car note, or anything like that, uh, don't take and then put it towards this here. This is for someone who got that extra 500 that might be coming in, and you say, okay, how can I make this money grow? Okay, and this platform right here is a solution to this. And like I stated before, I lost uh, many times in life, and I, I don't, won't even talk about how much money I've lost in the past because most people just wouldn't probably even believe it. But finally, I found something that actually is re uh, rewards you back. And after being on it for years, it's like now that I've, I kind of got a gist of knowing what to look out for and now to capitalize. 
Um, also, which uh, you definitely want to do at the beginning is open up a demo account also. Uh, the demo account, I believe, starts with roughly about $15,000. So that's $15,000 worth of training that you can have. And you probably won't blow through your $15,000 like I did because I'm already telling you how to not lose money. When I first came in, uh, no one told me how to not lose money. Yes, I could make money, but just as easily you could lose it. And that's what I kept running into. And many times I was ready to quit with Nadex in general. But I, like I say, I always loved that concept because if one is honest money and is no, uh, no wondering that you're going to get paid, no hoping that uh, someone will uh, like your product and maybe buy it. So this right here is just pure strategy here. So um, as I was stating, you start off with uh, up in the demo account, practice in the demo account. It starts off with fifteen thousand uh, dollars. So um, over the years, I would practice with the demo and then practice with my real money. You know, because once you feel like you had a strategy, you're like, OK, let's test out real money. That's the only way to really test whether the process work. And I have lost a lot, but I looked at it as my investment uh, to continue trying to create a strategy that I can make a good $300 in just a few hours. And in June 2020 this year, it happened from nowhere. Uh, my demo account was at roughly $5,973 and dwindling. And I kept making adjustments. And part of it was tr trying to uh, be greedy. And so I learned not to be greedy and I say, okay, let me just value uh, grabbing $13 here, grabbing $11 there, $8 over here, and $18 over there, and maybe $22 here. And within an hour and a half, I gained uh, $329 and could have kept going with the same uh, strategy. And I quickly wrote down my strategy so I wouldn't forget it and tested it and tested it, and it worked. Uh, working from home is becoming a way of life, especially with the pandemic and everything that's going on. So people do need new uh, real ways of making money from home. And I'm not talking about gimmicks. A lot of times people come to me already because I done did so many businesses. I done had uh, many people come up to me already asking me about certain business. And I tell them, do you want to know the truth of this business? And then I have to tell them sometime that the business that they inform me about it say, yeah, it is a ripoff. Someone is just out to get your money. I had at the beginning of my career, um, it was a company that was asking uh, to, for me to send my uh, money in to get a my product patent. And so I would send out maybe $800. Then they would ask for maybe for another $800. And so I would send it thinking I'm making progress. And then to find out, out I feel like I was getting taken for a ride and asked them for my $800 back. And also asked for my paperwork that I sent to them. And they said, no, we will just send you a copy. And a few months later, I see my product in. My brother-in-law tell me that he's seen my product in. Uh, Walmart being sold and then next you know I see it selling on TV and so it was like a hurt lesson you know other times I spent maybe about eight thousand ten thousand dollars to get a US patent up on a Ford uh, I mean a automobile safety device and Ford Motors were looking into it and I thought this was my big break and nothing came from that uh, so up in business a lot of time you're gonna have a whole lot of highlight reels and then Sometimes you're going to have them low moments, but I was glad once I found Nadix and I stuck to this here because it's really uh, has been a, a, a life changer for me. Okay. And as I stated up on here, it depends on how much time you want to put into it. Like I said, within that one hour, I made roughly about $329, about an hour and a half to be exact. And um, some people may be happy just making $100 a day. That is your choice. You can make that in an hour, but that's your choice. Well, um, enough on that. Okay, you open your account. You also set up an account to transfer your money to. You want to make sure you uh, set up your bank account that you want your money to go to also. So, you know, you want to set that up under the withdrawal area. 
And so, you know, whenever you want to take your money out, you know, you say, okay, I made me a couple hundred today. I want to transfer that to my bank account. You could do that. Okay. All orders placed requires $100. So any move that you make, you need $100 to make that move. Anything less than $100, you won't even be able to place your order. Okay. So if your order, if you place an order, you will need $100 in your account. And if you are placing three orders, you need $300. And four orders, uh, you will need $400, etc., etc. And with the method that I have, which is uh, the strategy to capitalize if uh, the money is not going your direction, you definitely want to have 300 available in your account at that time because it's really consistent of maybe three different moves to get you uh, to lower your and cut down your losses uh, whenever there is a reversal. I call a reversal is when you look at a chart and the money is going one way. And yes, if you keep it there for the duration of the five minutes, yes, you will get that 14, 13, 22 dollars or even $11 that you was trying to get. But the question is now, and what my weakness was, what do you do when the money, uh, it, when the the uh, money, the price, the actual price has stopped going the direction you want and start coming towards you and now you're headed towards losing money. And see, that's what this whole strategy is about to capitalize those moments. Because there will be plenty of moments uh, that you'll see that uh, you'll be able to, uh, Look at a chart and then follow the directions I have here and you'll be able to just go ahead and make easy money. But this is also trade for the moments where the chart could be going one way and then suddenly it decides to come the opposite way. And this strategy is to counter that. That is your only real obstacle with this whole platform is sudden changes that happen and now you'll be able to deal with them because for years I was not able to deal with it and I would lose big time. Okay. On the demo platform, it has a green background. So just to let you know, and then usually before your name, when you sign it, they have demo dash or whatever your name is. And um, on the real account, it's usually a navy background, navy blue uh, for your real platform. On the demo, it will not allow you to add money. Uh, but on the account, your actual account in the top left hand corner, you can choose ACH with, uh, to add money from your bank account or you can add using your debit card. Once money is added, uh, you, uh, you will tell you what to do next after that. But right now, that spot to add money is up in the left hand corner up here and it says ACH. And that's like I say, that's your bank account. And then they say uh, the other one is debit card. That is for you to use your debit card. Okay. Now, as we continue, hopefully everybody is following along. Good. Um, uh, once money is added on your lower left, you choose five minute binaries. And that is five minute binaries. It's lower down the left. Click on that. Then you click on Forex. They'll show you the currency pairs. Choose uh, the Europe versus USA currency pairs. I like these pairs because it's more steady, predictable moves versus quick, random, quick changes in market direction. Okay. Uh, market sudden changes uh, is a big, is uh, it was my weakness. And again, market sudden changes was my weakness. Be, uh, Weakness, but I knew if I could master this, controlling my losses, I can be a successful trader. Because many times in the past, I knew how to make money uh, on the Nadex platform. I would gain $600, and one quick reversal of the price of the currency, I was suddenly at a loss. And it was like I had no answer for this. I had no defense against this misfortune. Many times I was ready to quit Nadex. I got tired of losing. But I told myself, you must find a way to minimize your losses and to gain more than you lose. That is what good business is, gaining more than you lose. Understanding what is indicative, also known as the actual price. And you'll look up on the chart there, uh, up to your right there. You'll see all the numbers below there is the same. For each of the strikes there, up under 
indicative price. That is your actual price. That is the actual price that uh, you will be uh, comparing your strike against. Okay, the actual price. And you will basically be setting, choosing out of the five strikes, and you would say your strike will be above or below that actual price. And you hear me say actual price many times. It actually means the indicative price. So up on the chart there, up in the right, you'll see uh, all that five numbers. They all say the same amount, which means it is your actual price. of, And that price moves up and it moves down. Okay. And so you always want to know what your actual price is doing. Okay. It is also on each ticket that you open. If you look on your ticket and you look on the upper uh, right hand, you'll see also it will still show you the actual price. Knowing that there are five strikes that you will be able to choose from, I always want to know what is the center strike. reason why I say the center strike is because that strike is closest to the actual price. Okay, so if the center strike is 1.11930, and the actual is 1.11932. I can't stress this enough. Use this strike primarily in, in emergency cases. Again, this strike right here is the center strike. This one uh, is closest to the actual price. So this one right here, you want to use this only in emergency cases to get out and cut losses, which I'm going to explain later. Okay, but let's say if you choose this strike and it is two points below the actual price and you choose sell, which is red. Rich, when you choose sell and that means you believe that it will be below your strike, which is one point one one nine three zero and your order is placed and you are waiting to see whether it will go below that within five minutes. This position might be worth maybe $30 to $50, but being that the actual price is so close to the strike uh, that you had chose, it can go up by one point to 1.11931, and you would have lost $50 to $60 just that quick. So it is important to look and see if there is money opportunities by looking at the strike above and below the center strike. It will offer less money but it will be further away from the actual uh, price, okay? Uh, so if you see a $25 to $10 gain, this can spell opportunity. And I'm referring to the strike that is above and below the middle strike, okay? Each one of those strikes uh, are separated by 20 points, and you want to be further away from where the strike will where the money is going so if the money is going up you want to choose to go the opposite way and if it's going down you want to choose the opposite way so not only have you by choosing the upper strike or the lower strike you have created more space away from the actual price but you also uh, have got an advantage because the money is moving away from you also. So say for instance, uh, you could be 15 points away and also uh, the actual money is moving away from you also. Those are two big advantages. And a lot of times that's the way it will be. You will have that 15 point gap there and also the money is not moving towards you. It is actually moving away from you. So that guarantees that you will get that 15, 20 or, uh, you know, even $8 at that time, you know, and it all adds up. OK, look at this at the beginning of the five minutes. So at the beginning, before you even place any order, or anything you want to look at uh, the top, uh, would find out where the center strike is. And then look at the uh, strike that's above that one and below it. And you want to see that there is enough money opportunity. If you see something that says maybe like uh, 86, that means you're going to gain $14 from that. If you see something that says like 12, that means you're going to get $12 from that. 
So you almost like uh, have to know that whatever you choose uh, is most likely is going to be the opposite of the number of how much money you're going to actually make from that particular strike. Okay. Don't assume that if you see 86 there, you're going to get $86 over a... Uh, over and you're above the center strike the center strike is going to be the highest amount of money that most likely that will be given and in that case it's probably going to be roughly about 30 to 50 dollars so if you look at a if you look at the above strike above the center strike and you see something that says uh 15 and then 17 that mean that's most likely what you're going to get out to deal 15 or maybe 17 dollars if you see it's showing, um, and then you look at, uh, you go below that center strike, and you see something that's saying like 82 or maybe uh, 88, then that means you're probably going to get still uh, maybe about 17 or maybe uh, $10 out of that deal. Don't assume because you see 80 or 60 or something, that's what you're getting. That's how much you're actually paying for that spot, and if it works into your favor, you'll get that extra 14 or 12 or 15 dollars okay and again this is going to be in practice when you practice you'll see and understand what i mean about that knowing how much money you'll get you know is very important okay so um let's uh take a look here uh first like i say you want to see if there's opportunity uh once you see that there is opportunity because you see uh you can make ten dollars or more uh, if over and when I tell you to look at the strike that's above the center strike you want to see that opportunity you don't want to get into a opportunity and you see 95 or and then you look at another area it says five dollars because about time you pay uh, the 70 cents to place that ticket order 70 cents to take it out you don't lost about a dollar and 40 right there right off the bat uh, so that's probably not really worth your time um, nor risk but there is some people who you know might say okay I could just keep taking this extra three dollars and do this all day I mean that's up to you but that's not my cup of tea okay so look at this at the beginning of the five minutes then open uh, a chart you click up on the icon uh, to more towards the uh, strike over here at the strike prices and you see the little uh, diagram on a little chart you click on that you want to scroll that down to the bottom of your screen there keep it open and you don't want this to block your open position so look at where I lowered it at because most of the things on here are movable you can just drag them here and there but you want to be able to see what that chart is I mean what the candlestick is doing at the beginning I mean if it's turning more red that means it's going down and if it turning more green that means it's going green but what you'll learn also is sometimes it might look like it's going to go green and then suddenly switch over to red. But this is why I say you would have to practice and then you begin to see, okay, this is really going in a direction that it looks like and it's not about to reverse and go the opposite way. After you do that, you will click on the tickets. And that's when you would, when I say you click on a ticket, you can click on any one area of the really of the strike. And you I like to say the green arrow or a gray circle with the white arrow in the middle that you could click on to place your order okay and really any place on that line will open up a ticket on the ticket uh, charts and okay so you got the ticket there and the charts and uh, and any other uh, things on the screen they are movable and you know so you want those to be placed in the right place uh, to, so you'll be able to see everything that's going on and so you can place them where you want them. I usually move the candle chart below so that I can see my open position. I have my first open ticket sitting to the left and ready to get out of that order. And I also uh, have the center strike ticket open. Remember, I said you were going to use the center strike just for emergency purposes. Okay, but you just going to have that ticket open, but you're not going to place an order yet. Okay, you do want to have it listed as a market order not limit order market order means you want to take it whatever price they got there okay and you want to choose one size you want to have that open and watching okay for just in case the price gets too close to your already placed order so if we get too close to my strike 
and moving at a good speed toward my strike at least like uh, for example I use I will use the last three numbers of the actual price and the strike price before you might have heard me say 1.11931 and so in a case like that, you might hear me say, now I'm going to just use the last three numbers. I might just say 931. Okay. Because watching the last three numbers really is the most important. Then you know how close uh, you are uh, to uh, 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 being attacked by a moving price that's coming towards you. Okay. So let's look here. So my strike is 910. Okay, so I chose strike 910. Okay, and the actual price is dropping down to about 919. Okay, I would be watching it. You want to watch this? Okay, is it just kind of lingering around 919, dropping back up to 20, lingering around? If it's doing something like that, just watch it, okay? And if it start going down to like around 915, and remember your price was set at 910, you might want to get out of this order immediately. Then you want to, uh, remember I told you you're going to keep that center strike open. That's when you want to use the 930 strike. That would be the center strike. And with a sale order. Sale order means that uh, you believe it will be less than 930. Uh, and this position here can be worth about 30 or $20. So, uh, and you uh, got out of the 910 position. And you might have lost maybe uh, $20, which is better than losing $80 in that position. So you might have lost $20. You might have gained $30 to $20 by choosing that 930 position. And if there's an extra $5 available at the 950 strike, which is above the 930 strike, you can also choose to sell on that also. Sell, when you hear me say sell, that means that you're basically saying that you believe that the actual price will be lower than the strike that you chose and so if it's going to be lower than 930 then guaranteed it's going to be less than 950 okay so uh that would be an extra five dollars that you could actually have you know and to and to that five minute ends and remember sale means you believe that the price will be below your chosen strike buy means that you believe it will be above your chosen strike okay by getting out of the position fastly and then adding more positions once you see that price has reversed and its momentum is going full steam ahead towards your first strike and beyond it so that at the end of the five minutes you may lose uh, at the end of five minutes you you uh, lost maybe twenty dollars from your first strike and you gained twenty dollars using the center strike and another five dollars using your strike above the center strike so you can possibly gain a few dollars and lose way less this strategy won't have to be used every time because the majority of the time if you watch the candle direction and the price at the beginning of the five minutes 80 percent of the time it will stay going in that direction but practicing how to get in and out is key be sure to close out any tickets that you may have left over from the previous five minute session so at the end of uh, your one five minute session and you might still have a ticket that's open uh, and once the time has ran out and you realize you didn't have to use this center uh, strike or anything, close that out so it doesn't confuse you when the next five minutes starts because they start immediately behind each other. Uh, so you don't want to get confused with that, okay? And um, what's uh, so that is so, so you want again make sure that doesn't confuse you or get in your way. You want to view your open positions at all time. So that's one reason I said move the chart down to the lower portion of your screen. And you'll look at some of my photos that I have up here. Look at my setup here. Okay. The setup I have here, you will see I will have, uh, I will be able to see my open positions. And I will be able to see my profit and my losses on that line there. there. So uh, your profits and what you are losing at that time. Okay. And also in my left hand side, I will have my first order that is placed and, and then I will have uh, a the center strike position open. And again, that is ready and waiting for any setting moves. OK. And a lot of times you'll be able to tell even if you see the price moving up real quick, 
you can tell that the momentum has started and price is dropping down towards your strike and you're going to have to get in there and jump in right away with your uh, uh, sale order. Now, if you're in a position and you had chosen that the price will be going up in a position and the price is now, I uh, say, if you chose 990, say that it will be less than 990 and now you see it's jumping up towards you uh and it's probably like roughly about 985 okay so then you're going to want to get this strike that says 970 and now you want to choose the buy button saying that you believe that it will be above 970 because it's already approaching your 990 strike so you know it's if it's all the way up there time has, has time has already been dwindling down so now it gives you the opportunity to get uh, get out of that 990 position open up the 970 position and you'll choose buy again buy means that you believe that it will be above and the reason why you believe that it will be above is because it's have already start attacking your 990 position that's 970 position is 20 uh, points below your 990 so you would just say okay I want to buy whatever market price that is and I want to get that position and get that immediately after you close out of that 990 position. And that's where you capitalize up on your loss there. Okay. So this is going to take practice to be able to get in and get out. But the concept, it works. And like I say, I have did it over and over again to where I now uh, don't look at Nadex as a challenge. I look at it now as a big opportunity. Okay. Um, also, I like to say, uh, just, uh, please note, uh, try to avoid minimum movement during, uh, the last five minutes. I mean, during the last minute of your five minute session, there's a lot of weird stuff that can happen during the last five minutes. So if you don't have to make a movement, don't do it. Okay. If it's necessary for you to make a move on the, in the, within the last minute of your five-minute session, do it if it's necessary so to prevent your loss. But if everything is going in your favor, don't do anything. And within the last 30 seconds of the platform, uh, your last 30 seconds, uh, it will not allow you to do anything. So you, I mean, so that's one reason I said if you see your price is maybe five uh, points away from your actual strike, you might want to just kill that strike uh, there because I've seen uh, where within that last 30 seconds or so, you'll see the money race right up and then it will knock your order off and you would lose money. And sometimes, like I say, I would rather lose $20 versus 80, especially when I know maybe the next eight or 10 times I'm going to gain maybe 10, $15 here. So you keep your low, your your loss low, then overall picture you will gain. I mean, uh, this is all a numbers game, okay? Uh, um, also, remember place uh, uh, before placing any orders or setting up anything when you open up your Europe and U.S. A currency pairs, you want to look and see, look at the five minute chart. At the start of the five minutes, do you see opportunities of two, ten? I mean, ten dollars or more. Okay, and a lot of times it's not going to show clear as ten dollars or more. You might look up on the bid side and you see fourteen dollars, and the other side might say eighteen offer. Okay, so that is still good. That's a good deal there. Okay, that's very good uh, opportunity. Or you might look at another um, area and you might see uh, 78 and then 82. That means you got a chance of getting $22 and $18. And that you want to look at those. You want to always know where your center strike is. And you want to look at these numbers that is above the center strike and what is below. What is the bid and offer amount above and below the center strike? Because those are you going to either choose one of those or the other. If the money is going, uh, 
if you look at it and the money is uh, going away from the center strike, then you, uh, you want to choose uh, the strike that is below. You want to choose that below strike and say that it will be above that. Example here, say if you if the center strike is 50 and you're just starting off there and you uh, you see the actual price is maybe uh, 57. Okay, and but you're still watching and next thing you suddenly see it's jumping up from 57, 58, 59. Okay, that tells you that the price is going to be up above 650 it looks like but you remember you don't want to pick uh, that 50 strike because that is the center strike you want to choose the 30 because you want more distance you want 20 points different so that's when you get up on the 30 strike and you say okay I believe that it will uh, you it will be above so that means you will choose the buy button which is blue and you pitch that and say I want to get in on the market remember we're not in all these orders that we name it is pretty much market except for when you're trying to get out of an order fast okay so right now uh, when you place your order you would choose uh, buy and you would choose one size and you would choose market you do not choose limit limit means that you're going to set a certain price and then you want to get out at that certain price okay that is not the case here okay that's for a whole different other strategy uh, now say if you want to get out of this order this order is placed and you see it there uh, in your open orders and everything to get out of that you would just click on that and remember I already told you set that to this left already so you're just gonna open it but you're not gonna uh, place order you're gonna open that and see if there is if it's blue that you choose it was a buy order then you want to put the number one just down up in the uh, size I mean in the price you want to put a number one where the price I mean where they say uh, the price is okay in this case when you open up uh, when you click on that you can leave it at set at limit that's fine you don't have to do anything else to that ticket again to get out of a order and to set it to your left in the corner first after you place your uh, your order then you want to click on that order by just clicking almost anywhere or even a little green round uh, arrow and you want to click on that okay and you want that opens that ticket right back up for you to make an exit if you want to you would put the number if you chose a buy option which mean uh, you believe that would be going above that strike you want to you to get out of it quickly you want to just put a number one in the price selection okay set it off to the left so that if you have to get out quick all you have to do then is place order hit place order it will get you out of that order immediately okay because in the past that's how I got stuck because I wasn't able to get out quickly and you would just constantly see money losing you would get out of that quickly and remember you're gonna have your middle ticket already open your center ticket open and you're gonna if it's racing still away from you uh, uh, then you're going to want to use that center strike also to get to that's to 20 or uh, 30 dollars and so that's how you cut your losses your loss is going to be at a minimum and if your loss is at a minimum then that means you're going to be definitely gaining money because you're going to be about eight to nine uh, ten other opportunities to do that within that hour okay and um Natix is one of the most trusted platforms that has people participating all around the world. I mean, it is a trillion dollar business, okay? And it is a trusted business. That's another thing I like about it because it is trusted. It's not like one of these businesses where somebody is out to hustle you and take your money. This right here is based on uh, pure facts, pure knowledge, and so you got to have uh, a good plan of escape to be able to place an order get out of that order if you get into trouble and then make your money okay and this again this is going to take practice and some of some of you guys might not take that long to learn the strategy behind this but the concept really is behind this is if you see the price going one way you want to be 
away from that, but yet it's still able to make that 10 or $12. Okay. That's really the op option of it. And like I say, sometimes it could be 18 to $22, but I'm just saying I, me, myself, I would be happy even if I made $12 off a five in five minutes. You take that and there's uh, 12 opportunities like that within an hour. So even if you took 12 uh, times 12 within an hour that you made roughly about $144 uh, within one hour. So that to me is not bad. I mean, how many people you know that's just making $100 even an hour? You know, and this right here is one of them things that you'll start off and you'll be able to learn. And then pretty soon you start say, hey, I could really make money with this right here. And you'll find out uh, that money is going to be very helpful for you uh, during these moments where money and everything else is tight. And um, hopefully you get something out of this and continue to practice. And um, I would advise, even though I made this platform, uh you might want to use it on the phone app. I wouldn't recommend using the phone app until maybe you done really mastered this, you know, because I like to see things visually and on a bigger screen. But I would advise you to use a laptop with good Wi-Fi and everything else and stuff. So you not worried about glitch problems or anything. So you can see everything and also be able to set up your screen more efficiently. As you begin to get better, uh, you might want to start instead of choosing one position because you see, again, size mean you're only choosing one position, okay? In some cases, you could choose two, three, four, five, and even up to 20, 20. But again, each one on position, you would need $100 for each one of those positions. Uh, in the beginning, I would say only start off with one size. Greed will cause you to lose big time. So that's why I say do one size, make your 15, make your 7, make your 8. Dollars here and there that all adds up if you get really good then maybe you say okay I want to go for two positions now those eight and ten will be start turning to 20 and 16s and so on and so on so I uh, practice does make perfect practice on the demo app before you think about using real money and then again you're going to want to look for the opportunity every time you look at a chart that doesn't mean that the ability availability to get that extra 15 or $10 is, av is available to you. So that's why you got to know, be able to read the chart, I um, mean, read the price before uh, uh, the strikes and everything and see what is the strike saying above and below the center strike. How much money is it offering you? Understanding this will help you to better know how much money you're getting each time that you get into and you place your ticket order. Okay. Because the thing about it is, like I say, I lost a lot in the beginning simply because I really didn't know what I was doing and I thought I could outwit the system. But over time and everything, you find out what your weakness is and then I learned how to overcome the weakness and now I can make money without losing. So um, in, in the next uh, maybe chapter or uh, edition, I might teach you more about how to capitalize using the limit stop. Okay, the limit, I mean, using the limit order to capitalize upon slow movement uh, where they're not offering you that $5 or $15 option. I mean, they're not offering you that uh, 10 to $20 option. That's what I meant. Okay, there is a way uh, to use the limit stop and you'll be able to get that money also okay that will be maybe taught in the uh the next edition you know when you don't see that extra ten dollars or more available and the chart is barely moving the money is barely moving up barely moving down there's ways also uh to get money and situations like that which i will be discussing on the new uh maybe the next edition um, hopefully uh, you practice this, read the words that I have on the screen also, and you will learn uh, how to uh, perfect uh, this Nadex and become a Nadex champion. Okay, my name is uh, Richard Davis, also known as Rich Davis. Hopefully you have a great day and uh, become a champion.